Hello everybody, Fixer here, and today I have for you a new game, a game called Perception. So this was developed by The Deep End Games and published by Feardemic, and a PR firm representing the two were kind enough to provide me with a re review copy for this. So, The Deep End Games, they are a husband and wife team that um, raised four little kids while they were making this game. I think this game's been in development for a little while. It's been highly anticipated for quite a while, I know that. So, I believe they they contracted a few things out here and there, but uh, as far as I'm aware, the those two were a large um, portion of the development of this game. So, you can get it on Steam for 20 bucks. I, I don't know a ton about it. I believe that it is almost like a walking simulator, only this one takes on a different angle in that the protagonist is blind. And, of course, that's a problem for a game if you're blind. But she uses echolocation to get around. And that's kind of the shtick of this game. That was the selling point. Like, holy shit, the protagonist is blind and uses echolocation. And that's kind of got what everybody was excited about to play this game. Including myself. I saw the trailer, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta play this game. So that's what I'm here to do. And I'm hoping you guys feel the same way. Let's just start a new game. Uh, Chatty Cassie, Silent Night. I like to get to know my character. Cassie will talk a fair amount. Recommended. Um, yes. I'm a story kind of guy. I would like her to chat a little bit. Inspired by true events. When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. Okay. You learn who to trust. Creepy Cassie. Okay, I can move around. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of a fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right, <laughs> excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. Isn't that cool? And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Obviously, it should go without saying, this game's gonna be dark. As in, visually dark, uh, lots of blackness. Um, which generally doesn't go well on YouTube, is kind of the point I'm trying to make. So, forgive me for that, it is unavoidable. Isn't that amazing? How they captured the snow, like this? I don't know, I just thought it was cool. Hello? Listen, I need to do this. <sighs> I'm at the door. Wait, don't hang up. I love that. That looks fantastic. All right, first thing is, I want to no, not display cane volume. I would very much like to raise the volume of either the dialogue or lower the game. Doesn't look like it could do that. Should be in every game. Yeah, I don't know. I just really like the shot of the snow going along the the house, kind of giving her a a view of what the house looks like. I don't know. It's a different take on a, on a walking simulator, and I really dig that. Anytime you can turn a walking simulator into something different, I think Dev should be rewarded for that. You know me, I gotta look around before I go inside. I don't know if I'm supposed to interact with any of these things or what. I don't know if I can. Also, this place is huge. Oh, I can actually poke individual objects? Okay. Will it, like, break this vase? No. 
Okay, I have a feeling I'm supposed to go through this door, but I want to check the front door first. And eventually this... Oh, oh wow. I'm guessing the front door is going to be locked, so I should have done that first. It's green. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Oh, I can go in. Hello? All right, what this is worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. <laughs> This is prime territory for jump scares, isn't it? Um, yep, I'm echolocating. Moving out or moving in? Nobody's question, supposed Cassie. to be here. Why do I get the feeling that there's secrets stashed away in places in this game? It just screams that, doesn't it? Wow. Alright, more stuff. Nothing I can interact with. I'm guessing green may be something I can interact with then? That's what it looks like it's teaching me. Alright, that was a chandelier. Thought it was a monster. See, I could totally see them putting secrets in places like that. Oh, shit! Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? A rope? An a- Yeah, I'm with you, girl. Hate. Hate fire. A rope, an apple, uh, what was it? A ticket and an axe? Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. Okay. What was that? A memory? What the shit? What the shit is that? Something just came in here, right? Or am I just crazy? The door is open. I don't know if I'm meant to... You know what? I bet you this is why the keen volume slider is there. Good, good decision. We need more sliders, but... Definitely the cane slider. I'm hitting enter. Accept. It's not happening. Okay, it worked. Weird. Alright, that's a little bit better. That's why it's there, because they expect you to press it a lot. Alright, so that's locked. I have a feeling there's something in here with me. That. Felicia's pregnancy suits her. She glows. She walks around holding her tummy. Sometimes she just smiles for no reason. Hm. I was worried about the solitude of this place, but I think the impending addition is going to be her whole world. Until then, I just need to keep a batch of chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. It appears cravings aren't just a wives' tale. Okay. So she's having a baby and she's over the moon. Seems kind of normal. Landmarks and memories appear in green. Aha! Landmarks and memories. I get ya. So that's why she remembered the doors. She knew where the doors were, of course. So most of this stuff is probably added in later. Except for things like this. Did I? I didn't. Can 
saved. Something awful about what was that? Use six cents for next goal. Oh, she's got a six cents. Cent so, okay. I mean, echolocation. I, I'm not sure you would consider it a six cents because it's just hearing, right? But it's just that some animals can do it a lot better than others, and humans cannot do it very well. Although. I assume blind people can probably do it better than not blind people because they have to rely on their hearing. But not to this extent. I think this is more reserved for bats. But what do I know? Absolutely nothing. Hello? Don't just call out. She's very brave to just walk into a house willy nilly and being blind. Hello? I. Yeah, I'd be the F out of here. I'm gone. I, I'm done. I'd be like, nope. I don't need to know anything about this place. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, that got me. It's, it's pitch black and I can't use my cane, guys. Now, Cassie, that music box belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. Belongs to Cassie Thornton now? But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. Oh. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> oh, damn. But That's I creepy as shit. Song. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'm on a swivel, guys. I can't move. That popped up, but I didn't click anything, and it disappeared before I could read it. Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. Or brought that back. I don't know. Big old bear. Alright, there's a door over here. So we can open doors that are not green. It's green now. That's where we came from. All right. There it is, the rope. I've always loved this agate's healing properties, but last week when I had a stomach ache, I went to touch it and it was hot. The stone wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater, and the stones around it were cool to the touch. What really worries me is that it's a protection stone. It's one of them stones from Don't Starve. I forget what they were called. You heat them by the fire and they keep you warm. Whoa! I don't understand. This is the rope. The same damn rope from my dreams. What the hell does it mean? It means you should leave this place, girl. Because I still have huh? some digging around to do. I'm telling you. Wish I left that one buried in the backyard. What the? What did that say? The the presence or pre? What the hell? That text was red. Um, the subtitles actually were. I had an option when I went into the option screen. You can have regular subtitles or colored subtitles and I think colored subtitles were the right answer it was not the default I had to switch it and I thought well that sounds neat let's do that Gloucester's an interesting town salty not unfriendly mind you but rough around the edges wary of outsiders there's a sort of paranoia in the air a collective nervousness all the folks share they're a jittery sort that could use a downer here or there. I wonder if it's due to the town's fishing village nature, a sort of impermanence that comes with working in the sea. An odd place, but not entirely unfamiliar. 
unpleasant, just charged. That or they didn't like this house's previous owners. <laughs> I find it interesting that they made a game like this with a very unique um, angle with this echolocation. Um, which is something that you haven't really seen in walking simulators or many other games, really. Uh, and then they then they go and put in these audio recordings, which is like a, a walking simulator staple. Oh, I can actually hide in there. Okay, I get you. All right, there's lots to explore. I'm gonna get, I'm not gonna go down there yet. I'm gonna stay up here and explore. So that that's got some amnesia vibes to it, right? Having to hide. I'm guessing she can't fight back. I had no idea that was in this game. What the pregnancy manuals don't prepare you for is that first kick. It feels like you swallowed a big fat goldfish and it's flopping around in your stomach. <laughs> Maybe we'll name her Goldie. Nope. You named her Cassie, didn't you? I don't know if that's her parents or not. Alright, um... I guess I don't need to look at that anymore. Okay, can I turn the TV on? That's helpful. Tossing and turning and tossing and turning. I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. All right, I was wondering if putting the book down would end the thing. Sorry, let's retrigger that. Tossing and turning and tossing and turning. I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. This baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It must be very excited. I hope. Or maybe. What the shit was that? Was that the memory? I can hide under the bed. Good to know. Alright, so there's where, where we were getting blocked. It's terrifying. I keep finding these little things in the strangest places around the house. The last one I threw over the side of the cliff because it made me feel dizzy when I touched it. But here it is. The same one with the unstitched eye under our bed and it's a little soggy okay um little handmade dolls out of either cloth or sticks a la something like Blair Witch or, or some Wendigo bullshit uh 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 you run girl you're supposed to run you don't stick around for stuff like that All right, I guess we're going downstairs then. Game saved. Right before it kills me, right? I heard a door close. Anything in here? Can I open up anything? All right, before we move on to that door, let's try this door. Let's not try that door. I didn't want to go in there anyway. All right, there's a big old door there. here um 
It, it freaked me out because I accidentally hit the control key and I forgot that's the sixth sense. I don't... I don't plan on using the sixth sense unless I get kind of lost. Because that's what it seems like it is, right? It's some kind of... There's an arrow. I was pointing to the tree. That's kind of weird. It feels like the, it, it's supposed to help you if you get lost. And... I don't feel like I want to get lost. Oh my god. Ew! Alright, let's uh... Let's not go in there. Okay! Actual ghost! God damn it! Uh, honey, can you grab the pills you prescribed me for morning sickness? I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab them. Jesus. Wait, what? Am I supposed to be grabbing her pills? Is, is that... Okay, weird. Oh, so I see how that was. Put me on a wood floor so I can hear creaks and scare myself. I gotcha. I'm onto your baloney. Let's go in here. I'm guessing I can hide in there maybe, but I don't know. Okay, so we're back here. I guess we go this way. Oh, we're going outside then. This doesn't sound like a good idea. There we go. Nice and quiet. Not terrifying. Okay, guys, I'm going to call that an episode. This is Perception. You can get it for 20 bucks on Steam. Uh, don't forget that over on my Twitter account, which is at FixerTV, that's three X's and not two, I give away games every Friday night, so go ahead and follow me if you want to get yourself some free games like Super Hot or Yotun or whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.